So this year we also saw um, when we were taking green stem story notes on the statewide trials and also in our local experiments that there were purple stems showing up uh, along with green stem disorder. Um, so these purple stems are most likely due to a buildup of anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are a, um, are a non-photosynthetic um, flavonoid. Uh, they provide colors to fruits and flowers. But in plants, it can also act as a visible light screen. Um, so sort of like a shade cloth, okay? The anthocyanins limit the amount of light um, that reaches the chlorophyll. Um, and this is really to stop over excitation um, of cellular machinery. Um, and uh, which would result in oxidative damage to the cells. So it's really a control measure to stop excess light from reaching the chlorophyll. So it's really neat. So the synthesis of anthocyanins actually occurs on a cell-to-cell -cell at the cellular level. So this allows for um, local light control or local light avoidance measures. So um, the purpling might show up only on one side of the soybean stem. So really we saw this a lot when the plants were lodged, when the plants have fallen over, and the top side, the plant, the top of the stem that's facing up or towards the light um, was purple. But then the underside was green. We'd like to thank um, the USB for funding for this research.